You're tuning into the Tech Me Show. Welcome to the Tech Me Show. Today we're going to learn how to create um, a Windows 8 USB stick, basically from uh, the Windows 8 release preview ISO, which just came out uh, today, technically. Uh, so we're going to go ahead, uh, if you haven't already, download the Windows 7 USB slash DVD download tool, uh, which this is what that screen is. That's what the icon looks like if it's on your desktop, which it should be automatically. Um, and that's what it looks like. You should also have your Windows 8 ISO as so. This is the 64-bit English, uh, US English, I should say, uh, edition. Uh, which is very important. You have the ISO and not the executable, which ends with EXE. So anyways, we want to now go ahead and select the source file. We're going to click Browse. We're going to click Desktop. We're going to click the Windows 8 Release Preview uh, SO, and then left-click Open. Now it should fill in the box here as the source file. We'll go forth and select Next. And now you need to choose the media type. Well, in this case, we're going to make it a USB device rather than DVD. So we'll go forth and select a USB device by left clicking it once. Now, as you see, it just uh, checked all my uh, USB uh, items. Okay, so USB J it has 7.4 gigabytes free. Now we'll go forth and select begin copying. And that's basically it. It will now format that USB stick if you were here. Uh, depending on your USB stick, in the case of mine, mine is blinking uh, incredibly fast, uh, which is okay. Uh, just letting me know through the um, LED that there is uh, something going on. I know there are USB sticks that do not have the LED output uh, letting you know that something is going on. Which is okay as well, but I like the little uh, blinking green to let me know, hey, there's something going on. Especially when I use it as a Windows uh, Ready Boost uh, uh, USB stick. But as you see, it's still continuing to format. And now it's uh, copying the files. And again, that comes straight from the ISO file. And as you see, we have now successfully created the bootable USB device. Uh, so now, go ahead and unplug it and install it into whatever machine. In my case, I will be using uh, the USB slot in my uh, Samsung uh, Series 7 Slate. Thank you for watching.